In this next section, I am going to walk you through how to run a spell check and also how to do a find and replace. First, we'll do a spell check, which is super handy to have and just a tool to have at the ready. Um, it's really easy to do. All you need to do is a space plus dots one and six. Spell checker. Spell bear. Edit box. And so spelled word. What's going to happen is as soon as you hit that spell check button, it's going to start searching your document. And then if you have any misspelled words, it will uh, bring them up. So it's going to identify your misspelled word. And then you have some options that you can go through using your thumb key. So let's um, go through these right now and see what they are. Suggestions, button, correct, button, ignore, button, ignore all, button, add word to dictionary, button, language, English, button. All right, so you're going to want to head back up to the suggestions. Add, ignore, ignore, correct, but suggestions, button. And go ahead and hit enter or select it with one of your cursor router buttons. Suggestions, bar. And then we're going to scroll through what the suggestions are. So I misspelled the word bear. Baker, bear. And there I found the um, the correct spelling of the word bear, B-E-A-R. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Alert, apply changes. Do you want to correct only this occurrence or all occurrences of this word? And next it's going to Correct be once, apply to all. And now it's giving me the option to um, correct the spelling error to only one word or to all of the mistakes that it's found in the document. So um, in this case, I know I only misspelled the word one time, so I'm just going to do only to this word. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. Spell checker, spell suggestions, button. Correct, button. And uh, so it then it corrected the word and it went to my next word. And then you just go through that process again. So let's do one more time. Suggestions, button. So we'll see what the suggestions are for this misspelling. Suggestions, liked. And liked is the first word I spelled it and it sounded like licked. I, I spelled L-I-K-D instead of L-I-K-E-D. So right here, it's L-I-K-E-D. So that's my correction, I'll hit enter. Alert, apply changes. Do you want to correct only this occurrence or all occurrences of this word? And so correct then, once, apply to all. I'll go ahead and hit enter. Spell checker, spell the suggestions button. And then my next word, we'll see what those suggestions are. Correct, button, Oops, I suggestions, button, button. suggestions vegetables and my word that i misspelled was vegetables and the correction is the first one right away so again i'm going to hit enter because that's the suggestion i want alert apply changes do you want to correct only this occurrence or all occurrences of this word and again I'm correct once apply to all i'm going to hit enter on correct once spell checker Spell at suggestions button. Suggestions. Anyways. Alert. Apply changes. Alert. Spell check completed. All correction. To get back into the document, all I'm going to do is hit, I'm going to scroll over to OK. OK. Button. Enter. Edit box. Anyways. And then it puts me right back um, in my document where it made the last spelling correction. So the, the next process I want to show you is find and replace. So you may find that there's a word that you want to switch out for something better. In this case, I'm going to be replacing the word grizzly with teddy bear because I want a little a more gentle feel to my to my jokes. So all I'm going to do to activate this command is do a backspace plus F. Replace with edit box, grizzly, grizz. 
And so right now it's popping me in. I was using find and replace earlier. So if you use this again in your document, it will um, it will bring you into these fields. So you may need to back up to Grizz, edit box, find what? Top. So you may need to move into the top edit box um, for find what, and then you can place your cursor. Find what? In between. Edit box. You can place Chris. your you can, End of field. you can place your cursor um, in between the two brackets. You'll just need to find them on your Braille display and then press your cursor router button. You can clear out the old words. Z-R-G deleted. And we are going to um, find Grizzly. G-R-I-Z-Z-L-Y. And we want to replace it with Teddy Bear. Grizzly, edit box. Replace with, and I'm going to put replace my replace with edit box my cursor. Grizzly, I'm going end to, of field. I'm going to drop my cursor into the edit box field, which is in between um, the two brackets. I just want to note that when you do put in um, put in your cursor, you can put it at the last letter of the word if needed, and it will still insert it in the correct place. Y L G Z to Z to I delete R delete G deleted. And I'm gonna type in Teddy instead of Grizzly. T E M M. Oops. And deleted. And deleted. D D Y. And then I'm gonna use my thumb keys, and it's going to give me the option to replace one instance or to replace all. And for this, for these purposes, I'm gonna replace all because I use the word Grizzly multiple times. Replace button. Replace all button. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Edit box. Edit box. Tubby B. Selected. And then it has replaced my words. And I'm just checking, and it has successfully re replaced um, Grizzly with Teddy Bear. And it has me back in my document, and I can go back to editing. Thanks for watching.